everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome back to day five, I believe. Day five of Vlogmas. I know I have not been fantastic at posting every single day, but I am definitely trying to film and post way more than I normally do. So this is me just continuing to try to come up with interesting content and get it out there for you guys. I think this time of year is really fun because all the YouTubers are putting out a bunch of cool content and um, everybody's, you know, watching YouTube while they're wrapping gifts and whatever it is. So I've been really excited to try and be a part of that. I have definitely been having a hard time wondering like what is good content for Vlogmas. So today I was thinking maybe we would do a plant update. It's been a while since I did anything with my plants on this channel. In fact, I don't think I have done anything at all with my plants since we moved. So when we moved, our friends that had lived here before left us some plants. Plus, I have gotten some of my own new ones. So since we moved, I have a ton of new plants. All of my orchids are doing awesome. Like all the plants are just looking fantastic. So I feel like it would be really fun to just show you guys like what I have going on with my plants. So that's what we're gonna do today. I am super excited to just show you, like I already said, I'm super excited to show you guys what I have going on with plants. Before we do that, I do have a one quick little errand. It's not an errand. Activity? I don't know what it is. I do have one thing I want to do before we do the plants. Let me show you. <laughs> when James and I were at the store the other day, I saw this and I just had to try it. It's a horned something melon. It starts with a K, I can't remember, but it's a horned melon. And I don't think I've ever had one before. It looked just really interesting. If I have ever had one, it definitely wasn't at home where I had to like cut it up and stuff. So I thought I would give it a try. There are probably some of you that have had these before and know what they are, maybe even like them. But for those of you that don't, let's find out together. For those of you that do, hopefully I do everything correctly, like cutting it and stuff. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting this at all. I just Googled it and that is what it's supposed to look like. I don't know if you can see that on the screen or not, um, but that is what it's supposed to look like. It's like all gooey. And you just like can spoon it out and eat it, I guess. So yeah, we're gonna try that. This is like the most random thing. I don't know why I decided to buy it. I probably should have looked it up first, but I'll give it a whirl. I'm, I'm excited to try it. I am actually, it's so, it's so weird looking. Okay, so what I looked up said like you can just like eat the goop or you can kind of like suck it off the seeds because they're hard. Um, it also said that it tastes like a kiwi and a cucumber and a something else. And then uh, it said that the more ripe it gets, it kind of starts tasting like banana. Um, let's see. Here we go. This is like the just the weirdest thing. Apparently people toss it in salads too or use it in salad dressings. Like, just look at this. This is like just seriously the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I had no idea this is what it was gonna be like. I think I was kind of expecting more like a like a dragon fruit type situation. Um This is definitely not what I was expecting. Oh, it looks so gross. Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna scoop some with the seeds in my mouth and then if I have to spit the seeds out, then I will.
The seeds are definitely interesting. They're like, like you could eat them, but do you really want to? It's so weird how the goop is just like attached to the seeds too. I'm so fascinated by this, I just don't even know. Hmm. I don't hate it, but it's definitely weird. If you kind of think of it like a sunflower seed where you're spitting out the seeds, then it's not too bad. It's definitely weird though. I'm making a mess just like playing with this. <laughs> Oh, and look at like the little cells, if you can see them here. Come on. Like the little cells in here from where I've squished the goop out. It's very interesting. Okay, well, it's called a Kiwano Horned Melon. And it is definitely not the worst thing I've ever eaten as far as taste. It has a very interesting like tropical taste and I bet that the goop is really good in like drinks. However, the seeds are horrible. Um, they're not harmful to eat according to Google, but they're kind of annoying. They're kind of chewy and get in the way. Um, so I almost feel like you have to like try to put it through like a strainer or something to get the goop separated from the seeds. I'm not really sure like a, one of the bigger colanders, but then the seeds might go through. I don't know. I definitely don't know that I will ever do one again just due to the sheer frustration of trying to deal with this. Oof. Not that it'll focus and show you, but but as far as flavor goes, it was very interesting. And so now my curiosity is satisfied from trying that. <laughs> so let's get on to the plant tour. Since we're right here in the kitchen, I might as well start with my Birkin philodendron, which a friend got for me for my birthday back in August. It is so pretty. It has such pretty variegated leaves and it has a ton of new growth as well. Let me show you. So this is where it lives on my kitchen counter, which it seems to get decent sunlight. If you look, we've got windows right over there. So then, it gets a, at least an okay amount of light. I've been thinking about cutting this leaf off because it was damaged when I got it and it's just continuing to get worse. However, all these other leaves are doing so good. There's a ton of little new leaves down in there and it's just so pretty. And then look, I've got a new little stub growing right here. And then also this guy right here. I just think that this philodendron is so pretty and I can't wait to see how it does as it gets bigger. Since it's a Birkin, I believe it's more of a growing up versus a trailing philodendron. But we'll see how it continues to do. The next uh, plants that I'll do are my spider plants, which are currently on top of the fridge. Well, on top of the cupboard above the fridge because of the Christmas decorations. So let's go up there. All right, these guys are pretty far up here, but I will give you a look. They're honestly not doing fantastic up here. I don't think they get enough sunlight, but... There's just really nowhere else to put them right now with all the Christmas decorations. So first we have our big Spidey, who does have a few brown leaves that looks like I need to prune off of there. But for the most part, he looks decently healthy. He's still just huge. And then this is the baby Spidey that I had propagated off of him forever ago, and it's doing pretty good as well. The cat had eaten him a little bit, so he still needs a little bit of recovery, like right there, but he's not too bad. And then in the back here, we have a new spider plant, which our friends left when they moved, and it actually looks like it's doing a lot better than it has been. I've been trying to kind of nurse it back to health because it wasn't super happy there for a while, so it's looking pretty good. So those are my three spider plants. Here's James's huge aloe vera plant that he's trying to nurse back to health 
after it got broken. Here is another plant that we inherited from our friends and it, we're pretty sure, is a birds of paradise. It is getting huge and I need to clean some dust off of its leaves it looks like. Poor guy. He's getting dusty. It is doing so good though, this birds of paradise. Do you see the new leaf back in here? This is the most recent leaf and as it was unfurling, this top part like was rolled too tight and couldn't like unroll. And so eventually we actually helped it, but now it's, now it's destroyed. It would be like the best leaf on here otherwise. This one's pretty good. I am super hopeful that we'll get some flowers on this, but I know it's really hard to get the birds of paradise to flower, especially with like indoors. So we'll see, but it would be really cool if we could get it to flower. Over in the living room, I have another philodendron, which the uh, evil keekers just ate part of a leaf recently and I was not pleased with her. But this, um, I'm not sure what kind of philodendron this one is. I've looked at a couple different ones that it could be and I am not sure if any of you guys think you know, let me know. Um, but this started out as a cutting from my friend's philodendron that she took with her to Texas. And um, I, we rooted it in water and then I planted it and then now it's having new leaf growth and I am super excited. So this leaf right here is the one that has been growing up and just was savaged by Kiki Ann. It hasn't even finished unrolling yet and she's already ruined it. It looked so pretty before she got up there and ate it. But it also has this other new growth in here and you can see that that new leaf just has a huge stem that's trying to grow a bunch off of and so i am hopeful that it is still going to do really well and i'm super excited to see how it does and how big it gets back in my studio and then our bathrooms we have some more and then there's even more in the living room okay so currently not letting the cats in here so in my studio, I have this one, which is a, oh, how do you say it? A Dracona, a Dracona tree, something like that. And it's actually doing really well back in this room. I think it gets just enough light through these light curtains. And then I try to make sure and water it plenty. This leaf was like it, this when I got it. I got that this from my coworkers for my birthday, I believe and it is just doing really good as you can see it's getting huge actually all that lighter green stuff is like new growth that's coming up so it's doing really good and then here in the guest bathroom we have a peace lily i have this in the guest bathroom because i guess peace lily pollen can be really dangerous to cats so i try to keep it well out of their reach especially with the plant eating one however I also haven't gotten it to flower yet so it has a ton of new growth though and I think it's starting to really like this guest bathroom these leaves are just huge and then it's got some new leaves coming up that are all really pretty and shiny and then it's got a whole bunch of baby leaves down in here as well so I definitely think that it's doing well in here and it's enjoying its life up on this thing here. And it does get some light from that window. Next is our master bathroom. I have two plants in here. One is an orchid and the other one I cannot remember its actual name, um, but it's a Tradis. Gontia bubblegum. When we moved in, this orchid looked like it was dying. Its leaves were like super droopy to where they came like this and hung straight down on both sides to where they like hugged up against this. And it hadn't had any new growth with a stem since the old one had died off. Now, however, it's got all these little new leaves in here. All of these leaves have perked up. And this is a whole completely new stem that is working on 
some blooms. Isn't that cool? And then this, really wish I could remember what it was called for you right now, but I got this from the grocery store, um, from a Yolks, I believe, and it just looked pretty, so I got it. And it was probably about just like this much when I got it. And then this whole big thing has grown. For a while, I had this one going up the wall, but it's supposed to hang, so that's why I turned it around. And I think that these ones will droop like that once they get a little longer. But something that I thought that was super cool about this was the way this one is coming down and then back up. So not only does it have these super pretty green and purple leaves that I'm just obsessed with, but it's also doing some really cool shapes. And see, it just keeps continuing to grow. So I'm just so excited to see what this one does as it keeps getting bigger. And I've really been thinking about hanging it up here, but we'll see if I can make that work. Okay, we are starting to get down to the end here, but I still have a few to go. So first I have this little cutting from that last one that I just showed you. This had actually broken off, and so I rooted it in water and planted it, and it's doing good, it's got some growth. So I'm impressed with that. Then I have two more non-orchid plants. Oh, three more actually. Okay, so next I have this aluminum tree, which was my friend's and she left when they moved and it's getting huge. Let me make sure it's focused in on the plant. Um, when I got it, it was probably like down here and it didn't have like quite as much bushiness. It was falling over, so I gave it this little stick to help hold it up and it just keeps getting bigger. It's such a cool little plant. And I looked it up and the reason it's called an aluminum plant is because of that like uh, white sheen on the leaves and I just think it's the coolest little tree. So I'm enjoying watching that grow. And then I also have my Christmas cactus, which I can't remember if I bought myself or was given last year. I feel like I may have, I feel, I'm pretty sure I bought this one myself. And it has a couple little blooms. So it's already bloomed once. It bloomed back in November, even though it's a Christmas cactus. Um, but it has some more blooms. So I think I could potentially get it to bloom again if I treat it correctly. So I had just moved it over here closer to the window to see if I could get it to bloom again. All right, we're closing in on the plants here. My last non-orchid is this hens and chickens hens and chicks, something like that, um, which is another plant that my friend left, and it's got a baby growing. This little guy right here is growing right about the middle, and so he's doing really well as well. Really good as well? Really well as well. That's a weird sentence. But yeah, I think that's super cool, that little baby. All right, I have five orchids left, so yes, I have a total of six orchids. I know, it's crazy, but they are all doing so good. So let me show you. I have three non-flowering and two flowering. And then with that one in the bathroom, I have four non-flowering and two flowering. So this one James actually just bought for me um, just recently and it has some really pretty little blooms on it. And it's got more that are trying to come out too, which I'm super excited about. Then we have this one, which James bought me forever ago, and it actually grew its own baby, which is called a keiki, which is what that one right there is. Once they get a couple roots, you can cut them off and replant it. And while it hasn't been doing a lot and it looks like its roots died, the leaves are still green and it seems to still be alive, so we're just going to keep going. But this one, once I cut the keiki off, it grew a whole new stem and is working on some new buds. Then we've got this guy, who used to be my newest before this one. And this one had some two pearly pretty stems on it that ended up dying. Bringing this one over here so I can better show you. So this one had these two stems here, and when all the flowers fell off, 
I cut them both down a little bit. So this one I cut off there and it actually re-stemmed and has some new blooms coming out. And then this one did not re-bloom, re-stem, but a new stem is growing. So you see this is the new one that's growing right here next to the old dead one that I need to cut off. And I need to attach this one to the stake. And then this old one here got a whole new stem with some new blooms. It also has some new roots and this is a new leaf. So this orchid is just doing so good and looks so pretty, minus the old stem. I saved the best for last. This orchid was my friend's and she left it when they moved and it just had a little baby stem on it. It has been growing like crazy ever since they left and it now has the prettiest purple orchids on it with so many more blooms to come. Here she is. She's got this nice big long stem with multiple offshoots. So these two over here, both of which have blooms forming, and then two, well actually kind of three more over here. We've got the big one with the flowers, and then this one and this one. And it has so many flowers. I just love how pretty it is. So those are all of my plants. Thank you for joining me for this plant tour. It's so satisfying to me to have like all these plants that are just growing. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> So I suppose that is all I had for you today. Again, thank you so much for joining me. Let me know if you have any plant advice or if you want to share about your own plants. I would love to read your comments down below. If you haven't done so yet, I would definitely love if you would click like and subscribe. Otherwise, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you guys again soon. Bye! Just get tired chasing fame and